Hey guys, we are back in the studio after we were at the tech fair all weekend. It was super cool to meet those of you who came out and said hi, and it was also cool to make eye contact with others of you who were just like, yeah. Shout out to Flynn, but now it's Monday, so y'all know what time it is. It's about 3.45 p.m. The HTC Vive VR headset has already got room scale ability, object trackers, and wireless modules, but it will soon add another upgrade to the list, eye tracking. Beijing-based company 7Invensun, one of the startups in HTC's Vive X Accelerator program, is releasing a pair of lenses for the Vive that will add eye tracking for around 220 bucks US. The lenses, collectively called the A-Glass, are the first major consumer-ready release of VR eye tracking. Of course, we have no idea if it works well, and there's probably no consumer-ready VR experiences to take advantage of eye tracking, but hey, it's... it's there. A Glass will release in China next month and internationally around Q3 2017. We know that AMD's upcoming flagship RX Vega graphics card will most likely launch in the next two months, and now we've gotten a small peek at its potential performance. A new entry popped up this week in the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark database with a device ID matching the one shown on leaked Vega materials back in December. The benchmark shows the purported Vega card scoring 5,950 in the benchmark, which is somewhere between the performance of a GTX 1070 and 1080. Now, of course, a grain of salt should be applied here, but it's exciting to see another high-end GPU on the way from AMD nonetheless, because God knows they need it. And everybody and their dog is getting into self-driving cars now, with none other than Samsung joining the race. The South Korean giant got approval today to start testing its autonomous driving technology on the country's roads using their modified Hyundai test car. Now, of course, Samsung isn't exactly planning on releasing their own self driving car, they're planning to integrate their own tech into vehicle manufacturers' upcoming models, just like Apple and Google. <sighs> oh, Samsung, continually the third wheel in that relationship. I believe you'll find your own rival someday. Keep your chin up. It's time for a quick minutes. In more Samsung news, the company is apparently still chugging along with its Android OS alternative, Tizen. Tizen 3.0 will reportedly be launching with the Samsung Z4 sometime this year and will support the Vulkan graphics API. So, if you like choosing alternative things for the sake of being alternative, Look out for this guy. Intel is rolling out a fix for a security vulnerability in the Intel management engine, which allows administrators to remotely control and update their systems, which has been left unpatched since 2008. The security vulnerability, that is, not the management engine. Well, it's good they finally found it. Could have been a little sooner, but yeah, that's fine. Leaked photos have revealed Fitbit's upcoming smartwatch, reportedly codenamed Project Higgs, which will also come with a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. YouTuber Nintendru went through the trouble of building a prototype VR setup for the Nintendo Switch, and even got Ocarina of Time running in stereoscopic 3D, but given that the Switch only allows for a 500 pixel square resolution per eye, I'd maybe look into other methods for getting your VR fix. And Apple is reportedly looking into making its own Amazon Echo slash Google Home competitor, obviously using Siri as the resident assistant, to give commands to in the home. But what would happen then if you said, hey Siri, buy me a PC? <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Hey, why did the developer go broke? Because he used up all his cash. <laughs> nice one, John Peter Critch. If the rest of you have something you want us to say on Netlinked, give us a hashtag NCXYodog, please. It is the first Netlinked of May, so that means it's time to announce the winner for April's Fans with Benefits prize. If you didn't know, Fans with Benefits is our way of saying thank you to our subscribers. We give a new prize away every month, and all you gotta do to enter is subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from that month. So, without further ado, uh, drum roll, please! Ah, thank you. Congratulations to Kian Gray, I don't know how to say your name, with your brilliant comment first.
You win an Atsio MK Retro Typewriter Inspired Mechanical Keyboard. Inspired? Inspired. Mechanical Keyboard. Check your YouTube messages inbox to claim your prize. The link will be in the description to your YouTube inbox in case you don't know where that is. Now for the rest of you, the prize for May is a Topre Type Heaven Keyboard. I actually want use one of these here at work and it's kind of cool. It uses a mechanical slash membrane hybrid switch so it's still tactile but with a soft bottom. I like it. Like I said, subscribe and comment to enter to win this, and uh, good luck, my friends. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And uh, uh, I'll see you uh, see, see in another video. Gotta go.